as an outdoorsman in the state of Michigan. Fall is a time of year that I find myself being incredibly indecisive. One trip that I've wanted to take for quite a few years now has been to trailer my boat to the northern shores of Michigan's Upper Peninsula and fish along the shoreline of Lake Superior. As beautiful fall colors are casted throughout the forest for all to enjoy, there is a whole other life of color located below the surface for only a few select to experience who are willing to endure the conditions. Species such as brown trout, lake trout, splake, coho salmon, and coastal brook trout are all in full bloom with vibrant colors as it is the peak of their spawning season. This week we begin a journey to Michigan's Keweenaw Peninsula to chase some of the most beautiful freshwater fish in the entire world. So sit back and enjoy this episode as our adventure begins to discover new water and travel the eerie shoreline of Gitchagumi. Welcome back to another episode of Adventure Chasing. Welcome back to another episode, everyone. We are headed to the tip of Michigan's Keweenaw Peninsula to chase some of the most beautiful freshwater fish in the entire world. To be honest, I have no idea what to expect on this trip. We're just loading down the boat, we're hitting the road running, and we're gonna see what we can find and fish some new water. We could catch brown trout, splake, coastal brook trout, coho salmon, steelhead, lake trout. The options are pretty much endless and I have a whole wide variety of different baits and rods in this boat that we're gonna throw at these fish. So needless to say, it's gonna be an awesome adventure. Thanks so much for watching, but we're gonna hit the road. We have about a nine hour drive until we reach our destination and uh, I can't wait, <laughs> I can't wait. All right guys, well the truck is loaded down. We just went into Walmart here in Gaylord. We got some groceries for the next few days. And I just met up with Mike and uh, we're ready to rock and roll, man. We're ready for an adventure here. We got the boat all loaded down, guys. We got our cooking stuff, we got some wood. We're gonna make a fire, cook some fish over the fire and we are ready to rock and roll. We still have about another six hours or so until we reach our destination. So we're gonna hop in the truck and get rolling. Eleven eighteen this time and we have arrived at our final destination. Alright, let's take a look at our place here. Turn on some lights. Oh, is that nice? This is perfect. Wilderness resort. Got a TV. Nice and clean. Smells good. A couple nice beds. We're in business, Mike. Heck yeah. We are in business here at Fish Camp for the next few days. It's not a wall tent, but you know what? This is gonna be very comfortable, very nice. And I think Oliver agrees, don't you buddy? Yeah, long car ride. Well, one thing that I've learned is that morning number one typically dictates the rest of your trip. So we decided to sleep in a bit this morning, get some good sleep just so we're well rested. But this is an absolutely beautiful morning right here just outside of our cabin there's a nice lake and then there's hills right behind me the sunshine is reflecting off the colors the colors are a little bit past bloom right now but they're still vibrant and like I said just absolutely beautiful I'm gonna fly the drone a little bit we're gonna get our stuff put together we have to tie some spawn bags I'm gonna cook some breakfast and then we're gonna hit the road we still have about a half hour to go until we reach our final destination but I am really looking forward to this day Haters are sizzling. Well, 
Well, just a good old fashioned camp breakfast. We got the camp taters, a couple eggs, sausage links, a big cup of coffee. I'm gonna be ready for the day, baby. I'm gonna go chase some split, Oliver. Guys, well, we've arrived here at the boat launch, and look at this place. This place is beautiful, man. We're about to launch the stealth craft. Oh my goodness, this is like the Alaska version in Michigan. This is absolutely beautiful. The colors are still out, they're starting to diminish a little bit. There's a few guys fishing on the docks over here, and look at how gen clear this water is. Oh my goodness, we're gonna probably be able to see these fish pretty easily, I'm assuming. This is gorgeous look at these pine trees some leaves still left on lake superior the open waters of lake superior is just right around that point down there which we're probably going to venture out to at some point but we're going to get the boat in the water and go see what's in store are you ready buddy are you ready for the day All right, well I can't say we have an exact game plan here. What we're gonna do is just kind of cruise along the shoreline and see if we can just visually see some fish and then we will set up on them. But other than that, there are a couple different rivers that we may fish at the mouths of those rivers and just go ahead and see what we can find. So I'm excited, beautiful day, overcast, it feels fishy. Let's see if we can find a couple. Good. Casey, last time we saw you, we were deep in the Canadian wilderness. Big difference. <laughs> Bushwhacking. Big difference to this, yes. They made us work for it out there, didn't they? Oh, my legs. <laughs> my legs still remember. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow, the wind is calm, overcast day, conditions couldn't be better. Honestly, we could probably use a little bit of rain, maybe some more wind, but hey, this is pretty awesome. Look at how clear this water is. Oh my goodness, guys. If there are any fish in this area, we're gonna be able to see them for sure. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna cruise along the shoreline and just see if we can see some fish. <laughs> Casey, you got us, bud? I got us. All right, here we go. I'm on the front of the boat here. Oliver and I are looking off the front. We're going to cruise along. If there are any fish in here, especially with my polarized sunglasses, I'm going to be able to see them for sure, bud. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to see what we find. All right, there's a little creek over here we're going to go check out first. Wow, look at these giant boulders. Big boulders here, Kay, shallow boulders. Look at the look at the marks from people. Did yeah. you see the marks from people hitting yeah, thought... these boulders with their boats? Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I wanna see if I can see that again. Wow. All right, we're coming up to another point here, guys, right by this lighthouse. This is just absolutely beautiful. Look at these giant boulders down here, and we've actually seen several areas where boats have hit these boulders, where the boulders are completely sheared off from the bottom of a boat, and uh, definitely have to be very, very cautious when you're navigating areas like this that aren't marked well with buoys and channels. Oh, I might have just saw some, bro. Hold on, I, go slower, I might have just saw some. I saw a fish, I couldn't tell what it was, but. Okay, here we go, we're getting baited up. 
And we're just gonna kind of camp out here at the mouth of a river and see if we can see any schools of fish to swim through and just see what happens. So I got a float on this rod. I'm gonna throw this float out, have it set about 10 foot deep, and then I'm gonna run a couple spawn bags off bottom. Mike and Casey each have a float out with a spawn bag as well, and they're throwing some spinners and other hardware. So let's see what happens. Bean bag combo. Yo ho, yo ho, co ho. Bobber's blowing in the wind. Oh, Bobber down. Bobber down. Get him. Oh, it's swimming away with it, Mike. It... You got him? No, wrong rod. Oh. Wrong rod. Oh. Oh. It's, yours. <laughs> it's yours. Oh, it came right back up right when he set the hook. <laughs> the bag's mowed up. Dude, I 100% saw your bobber swimming away. It was swimming away. <laughs> this bag looks good, guys, but that was 100% a bite. Oh my gosh. Foul. Foul. You think it's a fish? Fish out, baby! <laughs> fish out, baby! There we go, guys. First fish. No idea what this is. I was just bumped to the spawn bag in case he said, Kyle, your bobber's down, man. What is this? What is this? What is it? It's a splake. It's a chrome splake. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. Is it a coho? No, it's a splake, I think. Oh my gosh, Oliver's freaking out. I don't know if this is a keeper or not, but hey, we got our first splake in the net, baby. We got our first splake in the net and Oliver is all pumped up about that one. Thanks, Mike. Well, first splake of the trip here. We spent probably the first hour cruising along this bay looking at different structures. Didn't see any schools of fish, so we just came and set up here at the mouth of this little creek, and it did not take long. We got one in the boat. We got one in the boat, and you know what? That's a fish put towards our fish dinner. This is a pier put and take stocked fishery, so it definitely doesn't hurt to keep these fish, and they're absolutely delicious. He's down. There we go. There we go, baby. He got one, baby. <laughs> All right. Here's another one, guys. Another one. Another one. Let's see what we have here. Looks like a twin to the last one. But this is another keeper. We will have a good start to a heck of a fish dinner here. We just landed the other one, too. It's bleeding out in the net right now. And I got a long leader on here. And there we go. <laughs> There we go, okay. Yeah. Nice, buddy. It is a twin. Look at that. Look at that, guys. It's like a twin to the last one I caught. The other one I had bleeding out in the net. And now we have two beautiful keepers. That's a heck of a start to a fish dinner, let me tell you. Guys, check this out here. One of my splake just spit up this goby. Check him out. He's still alive. He was just flopping on the bottom of the boat. Oh, yeah. We didn't even see him flopping until just now. It's been about 10 minutes since he's been out of water. That is actually an invasive species. And, Mike, what's going on here, dude? What are you doing? Nothing. What are you thinking? Just you being all secretive over here? You gonna put them on your just, line? What? Yeah. No. <laughs> Nothing like that is going on. No, I'm Nothing. just checking my spawn bag. He's gonna he's gonna put this goby on, guys, and see if we can get a splake to come bite the live bait. Look at this. Oliver, do you approve? I think so. Mike is on one, guys. We're just sitting here. We had a lull in the action, and Mike is on a fish. Bobber drain, baby. And Oliver is ready. Casey's on the net here. But Mike, so. this. This looks like a little better fish, eh? It feels pretty good. I'm gonna get my line out of the way. I was just rigging up another rod here. Oh, oh. is that on the goby? Oh my gosh, it's on the goby, guys. That's on that goby. My, that is on the goby. My splake puked up. Mike put it on his line, but I shouldn't be telling anyone. I'm just kidding. He's not ready. That is an awesome fish, guys. On the goby. It's so funny too, cause this lady would- know where to get a minnow skein from. Well, it's so funny cause the lady at the dock says, you guys need minnows. We're like, we don't have minnows. <laughs> Mike gets the goby and fish on. Beautiful, nice, Ooh, yeah. beautiful. Awesome, that's another eater and that's probably one of the better ones. Ali, buddy. Ali, buddy. Ooh, that's so Ali, buddy. Ali, buddy. We got one for you, buddy. Oh, yeah, man. Oliver is absolutely pumped up. Oh, yeah. Oh. There we go. There we go, baby. Little guy. <laughs> Little whippersnapper here. And I don't think. <laughs> he says, he says, I'll take that one for a snack, Dad. Perfect size. I don't think that one's gonna quite make it, guys. We're gonna throw him back, but hey, that's another fish. We got a school coming in right now. Casey had a bite, Mike caught one, and I just caught a dink.
There we go, baby, on the ultralight. <laughs> Guys, I just legged up. Oh, we might have a double going here. I think Case is on too. Casey on too, or is mine? Oh, mine's in ears. Mine's in ears. <laughs> we got one on the ultralight, baby. Look at that band. Oh, he's dragging. <laughs> Peel and drag, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a decent one too, dude. Here, let me go around this one, Case. Yeah. We're trying to figure stuff out here, people. We're trying to figure stuff out here. We got a ton of different rods going. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. <laughs> What a fighter, man. There we go. Nice. Let's get a look here. We got a mask going. Ali, 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 Ali. I know. We'll eat them later. Promise, buddy. On the ultralight, guys. Was that fun? Oh, my gosh. That was a battle. I got a good bite. I pulled it right out of his mouth, and I let it drop back just a little, and I saw a flash as he came right up to the top and took it again. Came back and got it. My flattened bag, he came back for it. <laughs> See what we have here, guys. This, oh, Mike, that's, that's a, nice a that's a nice one. That's right in the ballpark of the others. We that's a get. nice fish. Another nice keeper. Come Mike, on. just he's going back to back here, people. He's got one in the net. I'm getting rigged up. My last <laughs> fish just absolutely put Casey and I out of the game here for about ten minutes. And Mike came to the back of the boat on the power play and starts <laughs> slapping them, baby. Look at this, guys. Another beautiful splake. We're just getting some top shelf groceries here. We're gonna have a heck of a fish dinner tonight at our cabin. And look at this. That one just absolutely swallowed the bait too. Nice, nice. Two splake in the net. Mike, getting some nice groceries, job, brother. Nice job. Oliver wants Adam. Ali, stay in the boat, buddy. Stay in the boat, stay in the boat. Stay in the boat, buddy. I know it's exciting. All right, here we go. Ultralight on the ultralight. Gonna bounce a bag off the bottom with the ultralight. See if I can double this thing over here. 20 instead of three. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I thought I just whacked into something huge. There we go. That's another whitey. That's a whitey, baby. That's a whitey. <laughs> nice, Casey. Nice, dude. On the spawn bag. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice oh we go. we're gonna put him i got him buddy he is going right in the box guys another menominee actually but like i said that's in the white fish family and an absolutely delicious fish to eat wind has really increased and it is blowing right now there's a fish right there oh yeah that's a nice fish there's a fish there we go guys see what we have here this wind oh we got a drag screamer baby oh oh, oh, oh. oh oh my gosh she's running at me this is so much fun on this ultralight rod let's see what we have here oh oh it's a big colored up one. Oh yes been wanting one of these oh my gosh oh my gosh Yes, 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 guys, yes, oh, yes. Nice job, Casey. Oliver, Oliver, buddy, Oliver, I know. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how beautiful this fish is. Wow, let's get a close up. Jeez, that is what we were looking for, guys, a big colored up splake. Oh my gosh, yes, guys. Just caught another nice, nice Manamir, baby. I know. Oh, there we go, there we go. Finally starting to catch some fish here. We had another lull. Oh, oh my gosh, Casey. Oh my gosh, dude. Whoa. That is a good fish, dude. Oh my gosh. That thing take off like crazy. Drag peel and oh, run. Oh yeah. Oh, God, dude. Beautiful. <laughs> and oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely gorgeous. And he's under the boat. Come out of there, buddy. There we go. Stomped him out. Man, he wants under that boat. There he goes. Oh man, what a fight. That is a beautiful fish case. That is wow, gorgeous. that is what we came up here to catch guys. And this wind is just absolutely hollowing about 30 mile an hour steady. And we got a beautiful splake on. There he's in the net, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> guys, that is the fish of the day right there. Wow, dude. Oh. 
my gosh. Yeah. Look at these colors. Wow. <laughs> Good job, man. That's a beautiful fish. Well, it's safe to say, mission accomplished. This is what we came up here for, guys, to find some beautiful splake, and that is what we found today. We're just finishing up the afternoon here. We're gonna try a little bit different spot, do some more recon for our trip tomorrow, and then we're gonna head back and get some fish on the grill. And I tell you what, we have a cooler full of some top shelf fish flays. back to our place here. I'm gonna get a couple splake flays seasoned up. I'm gonna do those on the grill and I'm gonna also do a venison stew. I had two packs of venison left over from last year still. This is the last little bit of venison I had left over and what a better way to put it to use than out here at fish camp. We just went and got a fire going. I'm gonna get some vegetables cut up, put it all into the Dutch oven with a couple cans of cream and mushroom soup and I'm also gonna fry up some bacon and put it in there as well. And I tell you guys what, we're a little bit chilly after the day and uh, there's just no better way to celebrate fall in Michigan than a venison stew at camp. Well, if there's one thing that's for sure, too much bacon, was never a bad thing. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cook a little bacon and then I'm gonna use that bacon grease to sear this venison stew meat. This stew meat's a little bit tougher. It's on some of the tougher cuts of meat, so I like to sear it and we're probably only gonna cook this for 45 minutes or so. We wanna cook it fairly quick because we definitely have to get some sleep and we can't be out here all night and uh, it's gonna take a long time to cool down. But anything, anytime you cook venison or wild game and bacon grease, it just adds so much flavor. All right, we're gonna go put this on the fire and then we'll add our meat in a little bit, but we're gonna get these veggies cooking down, get some of those taters cooking and uh, get the process sped up a little bit here. Okay, here we go. We're going in with the venison and the bacon. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a meaty, delicious stew. Here, people let's see what we're working with oh yeah oh yeah that looks awesome here we're gonna take a couple bowls out let it start cooling down it's probably gonna take a long time to cool down but look at all that venison meat carrots potatoes celery onion with a little bit of butter some bits of bacon a little bacon grease maybe and we are rocking with one heck of a wild game stew here oh we'll say it. <clears throat> The flavor, awesome. The meat, a little bit too tough. I cooked this stew pretty quick. It was kind of speeding up the process because, you know, we got to get up early here. And uh, typically I'd let this go for a couple hours, but we only had about 45 minutes. So with the faster cooking process, it uh, definitely dried out the meat just a little bit, but it's still awesome. Well, that was an awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So glad I can finally check that off the bucket list. Caught some beautiful splake, and uh, we're gonna head back out there and do the same dang thing tomorrow, which will be in an upcoming episode. I was originally gonna cook up a couple splake tonight, but just got too tired. I'm exhausted, and after this stew, <laughs> gonna go into a food coma but thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video like i said next week we're gonna do a big fish fry we're gonna cook our white fish over the fire we're gonna do some homemade french fries and we're also gonna grill some splake as well so stay tuned for that it's time to get some shut eye and hit it bright and early in the morning <laughs>